on today's Technobabble. How fast does your internet need to be in order to live stream? This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to Tech No Babble. This is the weekly show where we talk all about doing video and graphic design for the church. My name is Paul Ang- Alan Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to join the conversation, by the way. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. You can find all the information there. Or if you're watching the video, either on YouTube or on trinitydigitalmedia.com, just put a comment below. Perfectly acceptable way to do it as well. So let's talk about the internet requirements for a live stream. We've all seen the commercials, blazing fast internet, up to 40 megabits per second, only $39.95. And you think, 40 megabits per second, that that seems like enough. Well, it would be if they were telling you the number you need to know. You see, when you're live streaming, you're sending information from your church out to your live streaming host. You probably knew that already. In case you didn't, that's how it works. But what they didn't tell you is the upload speed. You see 40 megabits per second, 20 megabits per second, whatever number they advertise tends to be the higher of two numbers. It tends to be the download speed. Now for most regular use of your uh, of the internet 40 megabits per second down that's great when you're watching YouTube video 40 megabits per second is a good good way to go 20 megabits is fine I've had as little as one or two megabits and it seemed okay Um, but the problem is what you really need is upload speed. When it comes to upload speed, if you're live streaming in standard definition, you need at least 500 kilobits per second. Now, kilobits is one step down from megabits, so 500 kilobits is one half of a megabit. So most internet is probably at least in the 750 kilobit up to 2 megabit range. So technically, most of the time, you can handle it. Technically, most of the time. But there's a couple of cheat words that they give you. Up to. Up to means no matter what you pay, it will be as much as 20 megabits per second down. The upload speed is usually 1 or 2 megabits per second, sometimes 750 kilobits per second if you're dealing with DSL. When you're dealing with that and you need a bare minimum of 500 kilobits per second, that doesn't leave a lot of breathing room. It also doesn't leave a lot of breathing room if you have the problem where it's up to one megabit per second, but in actual practice it's actually more like 600 megabits per second, at least when you need it. So if that's the case, that doesn't leave any room for error. It doesn't leave any room for uh, overhead, any room for someone happens to be on the wrong network and 
they're uploading a video at the same time you're live streaming, it just doesn't leave any room for um, any wiggle room, really. So just because the numbers that you're quoted when you call the cable company or the DSL provider, etc., sound like you'll have enough, doesn't mean that that's actually the case. In fact, it's the case that those are the typical speeds for standard definition video. What if you'd want to do 720p instead? Well, then you need more, like about a megabit. But I wouldn't even consider streaming if you only have one megabit, not at 720p because one megabit is doesn't leave you any room for overhead or doesn't leave you any room for, oh, the internet's slow today for whatever reason. So this is what I want you to look at. I want you to look at what your speed is quoted then do some speed tests with uh, some websites like the Internet Speed Test or Broadband Reports or something like that and see what it actually is. Remember, the important number for streaming is the upload speed. Pay special attention to that. See if you're getting what you're paying for. See if up to means right around the same or if it means Yes, yeah, sometimes like in the middle of the night when you don't need it, you can get this one megabit per second up that we told you you'd get. You see how that really matters? So pay attention to that. And if possible, go with way more than you need. So if you're planning on uh, live streaming at 500 kilobits per second, try and get two megabits. I know that sounds, that's 4x, but that gives you a lot of wiggle room. If you're planning on streaming in 720p or 1080p, get a much faster connection. Now, if you're one of the lucky few that has Google Fiber, then you probably don't have to worry about this because it's, I think they're selling one gigabit per second, which is a step up from a megabit. There's a around a thousand, I think a thousand twenty-four megabits in a gigabit. So in that case, you don't have anything to wa worry about. There are other providers that do the same thing. Typically in the same places that Google is already located with their, um, with their Google Fiber, you can get really fast speeds and then you don't have to worry about it but if you're like a friend of mine in New Mexico who has kind of iffy internet to begin with any problems that they see will cause a problem with the ability to live stream and he has a bit of an issue in that they're basically doing satellite campuses it's actually three churches that share a pastor. But they're, when the pastor isn't at that particular church, they live stream from, the other, from one of the other two churches where the pastor actually is. So one church has okay bandwidth, another one iffy, and a third, eh, not really, I mean, it's really difficult. So you've got to know, given your location, what can you get? How can you get the best possible speed? And it might be more money than you want to spend. And do you have enough? Because it could be that you don't even have enough to do a low quality video live stream. You might have to resort to audio only. Nothing wrong with that. Just recognize what the limitations are. One other thing, it's possible that some cellular providers with 4G or LTE, depending on which provider it is that they call it that, 
they have a device. Um, the original one was called a MiFi. It's basically a broadband modem that you can get. It could be that that's enough, but then you run into another problem. It could be fast enough, but it could be that you've got a cap. And when you try and live stream, you're going to run into all kinds of overage charges and expenses. So keep that in mind. It's a good backup, but a lot of times they can get really pricey really fast. So I hope that helped you. I hope that that helped you as you're trying to decide if your church can live stream. Because technically, you might not even be able to, even if you want to. If you like this comment, content, don't hesitate to head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, and there you can sign up for my newsletter, and I've got a gift for you, including a video course, or some stuff on ProPresenter, a couple of different things. So, until next time, go out and change eternity. This is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.